Hey guys, welcome to the MTB Garage. My name is Sean. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a budget drivetrain shootout between the SRAM Eagle NX and the Shimano Dior 5100. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about future content. If you want to support the channel, head over to the MTB Garage merch store. I'll include a link down in the description. You can pick yourself up a t-shirt and it really helps us to put out more awesome MTB content. So today we're going to be putting two of the most popular budget friendly drivetrains head to head. The SRAM NX Eagle 12 speed and the Shimano Dior 5100 11 speed. Now both of these drivetrains are great affordable options if you're looking to upgrade from your 2x or 3x system to the 1x and they also come standard on a lot of entry level bikes. So my goal with this video is to compare the two and give you guys the pros and cons of each one. Now I'll be using a few different criteria to assess these drivetrains including weight, ease of installation, overall quality, shifting performance, and also cost. Make sure you stick around till the end of this video because we're actually doing a giveaway this week. That's right, I'm gonna be giving away one of these drivetrains to one lucky viewer. I'll tell you guys how you can win a little bit later on in the video. All right, so we're gonna be starting off this shootout with the SRAM NX Eagle 12-speed drivetrain. Now, SRAM's Eagle platform has been out for quite a while now, and this NX group set is just the result of all the technologies from the XO and XX1 higher-end components trickling down into this more affordable package. This group set that I have here, which includes the chain, derailleur, cassette, and shifter, comes in at $275, give or take, depending on where you get it. And for what you get, that's actually a pretty reasonable price Let's go ahead and weigh everything real quick and then we'll get to installing it on the bike. Alright, so the total weight for this drivetrain comes in at about 1400 grams. So I'm going to go ahead and set these numbers aside for right now. We'll compare them to the Shimano later and I'm going to get to installing the drivetrain onto the bike. One thing to note here is that I'm going to be using the same crank set and 30 tooth chainring for both drivetrains. Both SRAM and Shimano make chainrings to go with these drivetrains, but not everyone can use them depending on compatibility. So I decided just to get rid of that variable and use the same chainring. Installation and tuning were pretty easy with the SRAM NX. There are a few adjustments with the rear derailleur that you really have to get right in order for it all to function properly. So if you find yourself a little lost with the tune, your local bike shop should be able to finish things up for you. I'll be making a derailleur tuning video in the future that will cover everything you need to know, so stay tuned for that. So out on the trail, I was really impressed by the SRAM NX. This drivetrain is almost the lowest end group set that SRAM makes, but it performed well beyond my expectations. The shifting was clean and precise, the shifter itself was ergonomic, and there were times where it definitely did not feel like a budget drivetrain.
chain retention can be hit or miss with cheaper drivetrains, but I had no issues with ghost shifting and the chain stayed on the entire ride. All in all, I would be totally happy running this drivetrain on my bike. All right, so we're done with the first lap on the SRAM NX Eagle. It's time to move on to the Shimano Dior M5100 11 speed drivetrain. Now you're probably asking yourself, why am I comparing an 11 speed to a 12 speed drivetrain? And I'm doing that for a number of reasons. First off, both the SRAM and the Shimano cassette in this case fit onto a standard Shimano HG driver body, which means if you're looking to convert from a two by or three by, it makes compatibility super easy. And the other reason that I'm comparing the 11 to the 12 speed is because this Shimano cassette actually has an 11 to 51 tooth gear range, which is actually more than the SRAM's 11 to 50, but this is just packed into 11 gears instead of 12. Everything that you see here comes in at about $230. So that's almost $50 cheaper than the SRAM NX. That's gonna be a win for the Shimano right off the bat. The overall weight for this drivetrain is about 1,350 grams. So compared to the 1,400 grams for the SRAM NX, you're saving a little bit of weight. Let's get the Shimano drivetrain installed and get back to the trail to do another test ride. Installation of the Dior drivetrain was super easy. I did have to mess with the limit screws quite a bit right out of the box, and I always like to do this before setting up the cable tension and installing the chain. Installation is done, let's head back to the trail to do another test ride. It was almost immediately apparent that the Shimano Dior 5100 is an amazing budget drivetrain. Every shift was crisp and accurate, there were no hangups, and the whole thing operated seamlessly. The function of the shifter was smooth and ergonomic, and I very much appreciated the extra tooth on the granny gear while climbing. Shimano really knocked it out of the park with this drivetrain. For what it costs, you just can't beat the performance and quality. So we finished up the test riding and I have to say that both of these drivetrains performed really well considering how budget friendly they are. I'm going to go over a few quick pros and cons with you guys and then I'll tell you which one I think is the better drivetrain. The SRAM NX was a great drivetrain. With 12 gears, I could always find the right gear that I wanted, and installation was made easier by the derailleur cage locking feature. However, it was heavier and more expensive. The Shimano Dior 5100 was fantastic to say the least. It has a super wide gear range at 11 to 51 teeth, and the chain's asymmetrical design makes every shift super clean and precise. The only downside that I can see is that the jumps between the gears are a little big because it's all packed into 11 gears instead of 12. With all those things considered, it was a little bit difficult picking a clear winner between the two, but I do think that the Shimano Dior M5100 comes out on top. The Dior drivetrain was better in a lot of ways. Not only was it cheaper and lighter, but also more importantly to me, the shift quality was way ahead of the SRAM NX. All this being said, the SRAM NX is not a bad drivetrain. I really think that you can't go wrong either way, and I'm interested to see in the long term how these drivetrains are going to do on my bike. Maybe we'll do a long term review video in the future, let me know down below if that's something you'd like to see. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned a thing or two. Now the moment that most of you have been waiting for, the drivetrain giveaway. 
We're gonna be giving away one of these drivetrains to one lucky viewer. And all you have to do to enter to win is subscribe to the MTV Garage YouTube channel and leave a comment down below in the comment section. We're gonna be choosing the winner based off of whoever leaves the best comment. Maybe you wanna tell us a bike related joke or maybe you wanna explain in great detail why it is that you need a free drivetrain. Either way, the best comment wins it. We're gonna be picking the winner Friday of this week, January 22nd, 2021. I'll include the full contest rules down below, so make sure to read those. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, and hey, let's ride again next week.